day that I wanted to say that little Lynn here is now one month. She is one month year old and she's doing great. She is now eight pounds and 13 ounces. She was six pounds and 13 ounces when she was born. So she has been really growing, which is really good. Um, and I'm only breastfeeding um, exclusively right now. There is a chance I might do formula down the line, especially when I go back to work. So I'm gonna be mixing. Um, there's gonna be times where I'll feed her breast milk and then there's gonna be times that um, when my mother-in-law is watching her, she might be she might be um, feeding her with formula as well, besides just the um, breast milk that I pump. Um, so, but she's doing very good, as you can see, and um, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Everything's going well. Um, She's sleeping well. I mean, she's. We still do wake up in the middle of the night every so often, uh, to, uh, to to feed her and also to change her, especially, you know, especially if she's, especially if her diaper is really full. We have to definitely change that. Um, let's see what else. Um, we're just getting we're just getting used to each other and getting the hang out of uh, our routine, especially when it's just especially when it's just me and her. Um, I think it's gotten, because it's just me and her, um, we have more of a, kind of like a set schedule. There are times where, like today for instance, I fed her earlier, and normally she would go to sleep right after I feed her. Well, today she decided to stay up, so um, hence the reason why I'm kind of doing this video so you guys can see her. Um, so there are times though, generally speaking, you know, when she goes to sleep after I feed her, I do some things around the house to help, um, you know, just to clean up the house, tidy up the house and stuff, especially too, cause we've just been so busy the last month, which was in, uh, which is July. And, um, now we're in August, so it's time to kind of tidy up the house, organize it. Um, and so my times of doing that now is when she's asleep. Um, it is kind of hard to do cleaning while she's awake, especially if, um, you know, she's really, especially if she's fussy and stuff. So the best time for me to really do a lot of cleaning around the house is when she's asleep. Definitely. Um, and then also too, we will, I will be going back to work after this month. So, um, we're just trying to get her on a, on a schedule as, be, as best as we can. I know especially at this age, one month, two months, even three months, are, it, it is kind of a challenge to put them on a schedule, but once they finally get the gist of it, they will. So we're kind of like, we're kind of already waking up really early in the morning anyways. So we're kind of getting her ready like in the morning. We, um, you know, we definitely feed her, change her, um, and then, um, and then when she goes back to sleep, we'll put her back to sleep. So she is getting a she is getting a routine down slowly, um, but uh, of course we we still have more things to do to work on. Um, you know, ideally we would love to have her sleep the night through, and you know, of course that's just probably not going to happen anytime soon. Um, she's done it maybe once or twice. Um, that's again because the prior day she ate a lot so of course if she eats a lot throughout the day eats more than she usually does throughout the day the chances of her sleeping through the night is more higher that's what i've noticed and also if she's up more of the day now if she takes a lot of naps of course then every two hours or maybe every three hours she'll wake up during the nighttime um but for the most part though she's been doing really well um i'm very happy i'm very blessed um, as for me, I'm doing pretty good um, with my, uh, after, you know, a month, it's been pretty good. I've just, I feel more now, I think I feel a little bit more alive now because I think I, I'm getting down, I'm getting the hang of things with her and, um, you know, I'm definitely, you know, I'm definitely taking care of myself, making sure I eat, making sure, 
Um, making sure that I'm okay. I'm always, I always check. I always check myself today. Okay, you know how how am I today? And um, and and I think that's I think that's always a good thing. Is always checking yourself. You know, just saying okay, how am I today? Kind of. I mean, it's kind of like talking to yourself a little bit, but at least it kind of gives you a, like okay, how how's my day so far? And you analyze how the day went so far, and I think that's by me analyzing how the day went so far kind of helps me keep keep me sane. Um, if I just, and I try to also mix up the things too, like I don't do the same thing every day, because the majority of the time I am home, but I try to, like, okay, this day I'll clean, tomorrow I'm just going to take it easy, um, the next day, okay, maybe I'll do a little bit more cleaning, or the following day, oh, let's, let's actually go out, let's go out for lunch, so, like, yesterday, that's what we did, we went out, we went out, bleh, sorry, we went out for lunch yesterday, with my husband, with her daddy, and then today we're gonna do it again today. Um, and that was actually the first day. Sorry, she's getting a little fussy. This is the. It was the first day that I actually drove since um, since when I when I was in labor um, for one whole month because I did have that C-section. Um, I didn't drive. Um, because they, both my husband and my mom wanted me to make sure I am recovering and they didn't want me to um, do anything strenuous or any way or any twisting or anything like that and sometimes when you are driving sometimes you do have sudden twists um, when you're driving and so I wanted to make sure that I'm at least he healing in the right direction which I am and so, because it's been a month since I've drove, I decided, well, what the heck, why don't I just try and drive and see how it goes. If it's still very painful, then I know that, okay, I, I shouldn't drive and I shouldn't drive yet. But yesterday it went pretty all right. I did drive. Um, there wasn't really any, like, excruciating pain, so that was good. Um, it was good. It was something to get used to, though, driving again. But it was a good, it was, it, it was good, though. I felt like I was... I was starting to feel like I'm more myself now with driving, so which is a good which was a good feeling, and so now like I feel like okay I can do this I can go out I can go out around and I can I can uh, definitely have her with me I can do this I just gotta time it uh, it's it, everything's all about timing especially like when you're feeding like her feeding time getting ready so like for us like for us to be able to get ready like this and it's almost lunchtime the only way for us to really do this is that we wake up a kind of early a little bit early like around eight I would say the the latest would be nine o'clock so you get her ready get her ready uh, feed her um, also I take a shower so do that all kind of like early in the morning and then and then, you know, and then all you have to do is when it's time to, to go, all you have to do is just get up and go. Um, it's really, it's really difficult when it comes down to you, you kind of take your time. And then by the time you're done, it's like already like past 12. So, so you're going to be late for your lunch date. So, yeah, so it's always best to do it earlier, get her ready, get myself ready. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of challenges, you know, especially too, like when, uh, when you're by yourself, totally by yourself, and um, one thing I like to do a lot is if you know if she's still awake and I need to get ready, then of course I have like a, a nice like I have a portable like bassinet where I can put anywhere in the house, and I use that. So when I take when I get ready, I put that bassinet nearby me, um, and then I get ready, um, and then or. Or I have her, or I have her uh, sleep first, and then, like I said before, like for me to clean around the house, I'd sleep first. I have her sleep first, you know, feed her and then sleep her, and then I have her go to sleep. Again, that doesn't always work. Like I said, there's some odd days or off days that she's just awake, so you just kind of have to bear with it. Um, like today, she she didn't go to sleep right after I fed her and then again also too we did have a kind of like a long nap um, after I fed her in the early morning at 5.30 so she didn't get up not until well we both didn't get up not until like around 9ish 
9 30 ish so but we're still trying to get that like i said we're trying to get we're trying we're 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 trying to get more of a schedule there but again it's going to take some time and some patience so there are some times where she's able to she is able to um sleep all the way through and there sometimes she's just not um so we're just we're just trying our best we're just trying our best to to find the best schedule for us but other than that that's pretty much it um you know, she's she's just a wonderful addition to the family, I would have to say. After having her a month, it's like, oh my goodness. Like, it, everything's changed. Which, a good change, but still a change. And um, now it's just like, it's not just about you anymore. It's about her. So, for me, it's like, okay, there's things that I gotta do. Because there's just responsibilities I have to do. But it's now like, how do I do these responsibilities with her in my life so I just have to kind of work around her schedule right now especially now since she's she's still you know she's an infant so and she depends on me and my husband solely now I mean she can't do she can't really fend for herself right now so you know we have to do everything kind of goes around her schedule not my schedule it's her schedule um, I still get things that I need to get done done like um, definitely like bills and stuff like that um, but, you know, it, again, though, it's around her schedule, not my schedule. So, but that's okay, though. You know, this is a, this is a new chapter in my life, and now I'm entering motherhood. So, I'm very excited about that. Anyways, so that is her one month update. Um, I'm planning, I'm hoping I can squeeze these, like, every month updates. So, you can see her, see her, how she grows. Um, she's done, she's, I mean, she's just really done a lot from, um, for one month. I mean, I am seeing her smile. I know some people say, oh, that's just gas. But, you know what, for me, I think it's a smile. Especially when I'm, you know, talking to her, singing to her. I see her smile. There's been times where she's even laughed in her dream, believe it or not. She actually made a laughing sound in her dream. Um... And um, she's been able to pick up her head. So you can see there she'll pick up her head. Um, she's been moving a lot. Her legs and her, and her arms. Always moving. So I know soon she will probably want to try to start crawling. Want to, you know, within these few months. So I know she's going to, I don't know. I just see her as a mover and a groover. Just like her mama and her daddy. So um, anyways, I got to go. And I will definitely do another video. I might do some vlogs here and there. And that's pretty much it, guys. So please like and subscribe. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.